Hey there. This building, which if you've been following me on Facebook or Google+, you'll have seen a lot of posts about this. Three posts, to be exact. Um, talking about this building is going to be demolished. And this building, as far as the neighborhood is concerned, has been sort of the bane of the neighborhood. Um, besides being a fugly building, it, it's been a number of things. This site over here, at one time, was DSHS <clears throat> and but it's been uh, you know this part right over here was a thrift store um, before that it was a little convenience store called the wigwam it's been so many things Um, but then, at some later point, oh, okay, and this part here that I'm coming towards was a little restaurant. They had good little breakfast way back when. Had this part right here. Hey, you can see me in the mirror. Hey, um, this section here, when you uh, when you would come through, uh, would have the doorway had this yellow glass. It's always so kind of ugly. I'm going to point to the uh, the address of the building, 9201. Pacific Avenue. Um, back up so you can see the shape of this here. Um, and, uh, but then a church bought most of the building. And this church wanted to save on tax dollars. And uh, I'll explain what the negative things about this are in just a moment, you'll know. Um, okay. Now they got a lot of this area fenced off. I'm not gonna be able to do a full tour of the place. Um, on this side here where they got the doors with these boards on them that it's a strange way of trying to block off a door because it's it'd still be pretty easy to come through based off of that but um, out of these doors they would they would put speakers out and it would blare their church stuff that you could hear for you know maybe two or three blocks this part right here before any of that stuff happened. This here was a, a laundromat. And uh, over here, yeah, this section here, um, you can see through to A Street. Here, let me zoom in so you know what I mean. See that house over there? Yeah, that is on A Street. And there used to be a throughway. Got 
Move the camera all around. Good job. Um, it used to be a, th a throughway into A Street. Um, and it was the only one between 84th and 96th Street. So this is where people, you know, I mean, it was just an easy way to get to Pacific Avenue or to anywhere, you know. It was commonly used. It was the way that uh, people would, uh, here, so it focuses on the right thing instead of the fence. Um, if people needed to take the bus, it was the easy way to get to Pacific Avenue. Um, it was, it was a very commonly used area, and the church purposely went out and closed it off completely, put up a fence with barbed wire because, well, you know, they wanted to save on taxes. So, um, moving right along, um, see if we can see through this little crack of the fence. There we go. Um, in this area, in the back, you know, this, this wasn't a very big parking lot before. It was very, very small. And they decided, oh, their church is going to be so popular, they're going to fill up all of this area. Like, they, they wanted to be some mega church or something, right? And everyone on A Street used to look at this nice little forest area. It was a beautiful forest area. Sometimes a homeless would sleep in it, but it was still a beautiful area. And uh, they took all that down and put up a fence with barbed wire on the top all the way, all the way down. So all of these people that lived on A Street, um, instead of being able to look at the beautiful forest area, they now looked at a, uh, a, a fence with barbed wire on the top and get to see the backside of a really fugly building. So, you know, that's some of the history of this. So, you know, for people like myself and many that are living in this neighborhood, um, but, yeah, a lot of people are going to be very happy that this fugly building is going to be torn down. Because I'm, I'm positive that there are a number of people that moved out of A Street because of what the church did. You know, so... I'm going to try to get some footage of them burning this if I can, but it'll depend on whether it's pouring rain. If it is, well, <laughs> I'll just have to get some after pictures. But, uh... Yeah. Now, something else I wanted to talk about in this video is... You know, I, I think it's so hypocritical when there are gay men who will just be pissed off at anyone saying anything bad about feminism or what feminism has become or what some feminists are like. And then they'll turn around and say some of the most disparaging comments about women, women's genitalia, possible. I've got a friend on Facebook who I've actually known in person for a while, who he has, he threatened to just dump friendship with me if I ever said anything more on Facebook negative about feminism, and yet he says the cruelest, meanest, most misogynistic things I've ever seen said about women before on a regular basis. And recently, I made this, yesterday I made this post about how it grows tiresome when, you know, someone will want to friend me on Facebook, and as soon as I do, all they'd want to do is send me dick pics 
and demand that I uh, sex cam with them on Skype. Or there'll be people that will, they don't know anything about me, I don't know anything about them, and they'll say, I love you, I love you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> And uh, he responded by saying there's a, uh... oh, that's not as bad as this woman who friended me. And she, she then showed me pictures of her geriatric body with leather and stuff. And, and, he, and he's, he's a big bear. And, you know, he would never make that same kind of comment about a guy that did that sort of thing. I mean, he may not be into leather, but he certainly wouldn't make that kind of comment about a guy. He'd probably call them a daddy bear or something, right? Oh yes, here's some of the garbage that's been left. This, this entire area got overgrown. And a lot of people were sleeping in here. And, uh, and when they took it all down to just grass and a few trees here and there, as you see, um, it displaced a lot of people. And, uh, anyway, um, I guess this video is a little bit random, but that's all right. Um, I just, there have been buildings in the past that I knew were going to get torn down and I never really went out of my way to film anything of them. And I usually would regret it later, so I'm like, okay, I don't want to regret this this time, so let's film as much of this as I can. So. Man, when it was a when it was a thrift store, that place was a thrift store for a while. Um, I don't know if you know, they still make. I think they still make it. These Tyco racing track, your toys, and you have these little things that are shaped like guns that you you pull the trigger, and the further you pull it, the faster the cars on the track go. And uh, I remember. Uh, I remember I would, I would dig through the dumpster. My brother and I would dig through the dumpster of the thrift store because all that stuff was just going to go to the landfill. And I found, I got like 600, uh, I just want to look through the window of this for a second. Uh, you can't really see in there very well. Chairs, look at all the chairs. Um, but, um, yeah, I, we found like $600 worth of Tyco track. <laughs> Cleaned it up, used some bleach on it a little bit, and man, I had fun with that. Of course, nowadays, I don't even know, I mean, if they, if that was still a thing you could get at stores a lot, I don't think it would be bought very much. I wonder what that, uh, that symbol is. I mean, I wonder, I mean, I know obviously what kind of thing it is, but I wonder if it's, uh, what it leads to. Nope, you can't really see in there. No trespassing, Miss Tesmaka. <laughs> to end this video pretty soon because the camera is saying I'm getting hot so but yeah here comes what used to be the thrift store yeah you really can't see in there but uh
it'll be interesting seeing this building gone. It really will. It's, it's, uh... Been here at least since I've been alive, so... Anyway, um, I don't really have much more to say on this. Uh, I just want to film every little bit of this that I can before the camera says no. Hi there. So, all right. I'm gonna film these doors here real quick. And point the camera again at the address and call it good. Again, I hope I can get some footage of this uh, building being torn down, but... If not, oh well. One more little clip. <laughs> 